In this lesson, I'm going to give you an overview of the robot educator material that's included with the educational version of the software. Robot Educator offers the opportunity for you to get more practice with programming and also may help you to come up with ideas for challenges for your students to work on. Okay, so if you have any programs open, close them out so that you're back at this home screen and then just click on Robot Educator down here at the bottom. I'm just going to give you an overview here for many more details. If we scroll down to the bottom, there's this teacher's guide. Um, and that has some more um, information in here. By the way, remember that everything I'm showing you may get changed if LEGO upgrades the software. But this first PDF here, this Robot Educator Introduction, is pretty useful. It has a detailed overview of Robot Educator in it, along with an outline of everything that's in here. The other two PDFs here are just a um, parts list for the kit and also what you need to build their recommended driving base. So let's go up back one into building instructions. And here you get some detailed instructions on how to build the robot base and the sensor attachments. This is what came in the book with your educational kit, but it's nice that it's here. Let's just open up this one and say open. Now, note it kind of looks like a program, right? I mean, we've opened up a program. But in fact, what's going on is we have an empty program. Let me close out the content editor for a minute. With a lot of stuff in the content editor, right? So we can just kind of click through, and you can see that there's all the different steps that you need in here, right? So let me close out that driving base product project. Um, and let's just take a look at tools. And in here they show you how to use the sound editor to make your own sounds. There's also this My Blocks option, which lets you combine sets of blocks to make your own special block. If you use a bunch of blocks together uh, many times in a row, you may want to make your own block. And then there's the image editor that we saw that lets you create your own images. Um, We'll talk about data logging in another lesson, so I'm not going to go over that right now. Uh, the hardware section shows you some more information about um, the different um, sensors and, um, and, and more about the, uh, the brick itself, too. So, for example, it talks about the brick status light. That's something we've, we've never um, really covered in this lesson. But it goes through things like the different motors, the sensors, and all that. And then up here at the top, we have basics, and we have beyond basics. And these are sets of tutorials that can help you learn how to use different programming techniques and, center, and sensors. Um, it's also a really great resource for teachers to come up with ideas for projects to use with your students. So. You can see we kind of start out, they teach you about moving blocks, and then they teach you how to do a straight move or a curved move. And as we scroll down, you can see there's programs that stop at a line or stop at an angle, and so on. And each of these uh, teaches you to do, um, to do just a little bit more. And, and for example, this tank move, we've never really talked about that move tank um, block. And you could look at this one and um, Try it out and see what you get. Okay, in the next lesson, what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you through my favorite example from the Robot Educator.